You just lost your job, right? Yeah. Why'd you get fired? From I went into work and they fired no, no, no. me. What did they say? You cannot work here anymore. Look at me. <laughs> you what cannot work. Say? You cannot work here anymore. Yeah. Did you ask why? So at my job, you cannot wear thongs. <laughs> you have to wear like actual panties. That cover more. Cover more, yes. Okay. And they're like, yeah, this is a law. You can get fired, I can get fired. Yeah, it could have put them in a risky position if you were wearing something that was against the law. They could get their business shut down by well, you I not got following fired. legal regulation. So it makes sense I got for you to fired. get fired. Well, I never got directed. I, I, I never got directed. I also don't I know that. I never got directed. Shut the, I also don't Please. know that industry. So I can't say if they should have given a warning or not it's not an industry i'm interested in yeah. fun fact i've never even been to a that's lame i envision it being stinky and sticky and also i don't get it how does Either that make way, you feel caleb stinky and sticky yeah i don't like stinky and sticky you don't you do i mean sometimes occasionally <laughs> you are so what you heard. I think it's something people should experience once in a lifetime for real. Stinky and sticky? Yeah, if you've never danced on a stage before and got a little stinky and sweaty like on stage and enjoyed life, just let your hair down, you should really f***ing do it. You're so wise. Every dictatorship has one obsession, and that's it. So in ancient Rome, they gave the people bread and circuses. They kept the populace busy with entertainment. But other dictatorships use other, other strategies to control ideas, the knowledge. How do they do that? Lower education. They limit culture. Censor information. They censor any means of individual expression. And it's important to remember this, that this is a pattern that repeats itself throughout history. To me, to dismantle morality is to dismantle masculinity. To dismantle masculinity is to surrender strength. To surrender strength is to give away all that gives humanity value. Of course, this is a Hollywood movie, so the target is most likely the traditionalists. Ironically, this is a message they propagate that describes themselves, not the other way around. We often look at western nations like the US and see the similarities with Rome. People point out the legions that maintain order, the loquacious politicians with hollow gestures, and the entertainment system that, when looking at someone like Lizzo dressing like a manatee, resembles how mascots are paraded around to show how fun and enlightened we've become. But just like Rome, most people aren't literate or inquisitive anymore. Living there for quite some time, I can tell you that the coastal cities are packed with neutered simps and prideful hamster feeders, letting books collect dust as they doom scroll through thirst traps before making their way to the club on a Thursday night. The future there is bleak, and the reason for all of this is quite obvious. It's a feminist experiment. So before we go on with the video, let me drop the comment of the day. Shout out to Tench1 who shared, Men age like whiskey, women age like wine. With age, whiskey becomes smoother, richer, and more valuable. With age, wine becomes vinegar. We all love a classy comparison. So thanks for dropping that comment, and please don't forget to reach out to my email to claim your five bucks. As always, guys, I'll be going through the comments and picking one comment from each video. Could be the funniest, the most liked, or just one that was very poetic. So don't forget to leave a comment, and you could be our very next winner. So be sure to hit the like and sub button too, as it helps out a ton. So now let's get right back into the video. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever So, how is this experiment going? Well, recently, I followed and shared a story regarding Hollywood's finest, Drea De Matteo, and how she justifies lonely fans to friends and family. Guys, more news has come out of all of this recently, and as one can expect, this is exactly what happens when a nation gives women the wheel. The most recent event in this story is called The Soprano Star Drea De Matteo Says Teen Son Helps Her Edit OF Content. Oh God! <laughs> Edward Segarra writes, as a mother, Drea De Matteo keeps it real. She's a, she's a prostitute. 
The Sopranos star, who recently joined the content platform OF, opened up about her teen's children's involvement in her work while appearing on the Not Today Pal podcast earlier this month. DeMatteo shares on son, Waylon, 13, and daughter, Alabama, 16, with musician Shooter Jennings. While reviewing her OF content with hosts and former Sopranos co-stars Robert Eiler and Jamie Lynn Sigler, DeMatteo briefly apologized to her children, who were not on camera for the risque conversation. Good thinking. Before you start, your son was outside saying he edits your OF photos, Eiler told DeMatteo on the July 11th episode, to which she replied, Oh yeah, he's like, so what do you want me to do with the bikini line here? Yup, you heard it correctly. Matteo here doesn't just plan on ruining the lives of her children, but their minds as well. Also, Edward, have some dignity for God's sake. Keeping it real is something you can say when you're describing someone down to earth or, or authentic. Not a mom who's decided to make her own son edit borderline nudes for the world to see. I cover a lot of disturbing stories in these segments. Some of them involve salmon discharge, botched surgeries, uh, the list goes on and on. But this shit is just straight up messed up. How morally bankrupt do you have to be to rope your own son into managing content for thirsty strangers and then proceed to brag about it on podcasts like you just finished first in a marathon? Did you uh, cheat for a hundred bucks? No, that's too light, no. She's way too, too much of me. Maybe. What? Yeah, no, get the fuck, man. Okay, we're on the boardwalk, why does it matter? That's a hundred bucks. Yeah, but it's like, you're not gonna remember it. You don't love me or something? I, I do, but like, you're not gonna remember it. Just because I drank doesn't mean I'm not gonna remember shit. You're not gonna That's remember it. That's $100. You don't handle your alcohol. Yo, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm if you done. Don't, like, who has more money than you? Who drives a 70k BMW? I drive an 80k Jeep. Alright, alright, let's go then. Oh, you want a Jeep? I'm yeah. him? Yeah. Me? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Great job. Uh, what do you do for work? Social media. Okay. What did that involve? Yeah. Um, uh, things. <laughs> Only things. Fans. If they just say old, old stop period, yeah. they, they don't feel like they're a valuable person in the world. So they have to add on some other things that suggest that they have skills and personality and education. So they can't just say only. Yeah. yeah. Either that or they're broke. And that was one of Mateo's reasons for starting this whole thing. In past articles, the reasoning for why she does this to herself, her children, and Western society always changes. It was first a prideful female empowerment message, and then a lot of people didn't buy it. Then she said that she couldn't afford the house, which raised eyebrows because this chick made millions off of The Sopranos. More recently, she tried spinning it like she was a patriot protecting freedom of expression. Excuses, no matter what they are though, don't, in any way, justify roping your adolescent child into your online escort service. It's deplorable. The article continues with, Demetteo, whose OF content ranges from NSFW photos to collaborations with other women, spoke about the importance of her children's approval before releasing her work. <laughs> yeah, sure, let's go with that. I do go over that I'm with them before I ever put them out, DeMatteo said. I was like, are you okay with this? Because it's like, if I were to do it in a movie, because I would make out with girls in movies all day long before I'd even make out with boys. Flawlessly logical. Best known for her role as Adriana La Serva on the HBO mob drama, DeMatteo launched her OF page in August 2023. She currently has over 157,000 likes on the subscription service. Wow, yeah, what an inspiring success story. What a triumph, don't you think? I mean, seriously. Imagine a woman in the 1800s getting a collection of risque pictures together, showing them to her son and asking, Boy, can you come here and tell me if you think these are tasteful? What the hell is going on here? Also, that count about seeking her approval from her kids is a massive lie. Her son, before the age of 13, hated the idea, and her resonance was... You like all the things that you want that make you happy? You like that new PC that you begged for Christmas? Because you wouldn't have that shoot if mommy didn't show her ass. Yeah, Mateo, your mother of the year. If only every young guy had a mother as considerate as you are. I am processing the most triggering breakup I've had in nine years. Wait, so my entire family just died in a plane crash? Uh, no, sorry, I just don't really know what to say. Could I actually call you back later?
Damn, I can't figure out what to post today. Yep, that'll do it. 100,000 likes. This pretty much goes without saying, but Mateo is just the maternal manifestation of what we've seen with modern women for years. It's all about turning on the camera, performing for a perverted audience, and then trying their best to shame everyone who thinks the spectacle was a horrible idea. On the podcast, her peers do quite a bit to lighten the load of what she dropped, but the family and friends rebuttal in no way justifies manipulating and then grooming your teenage son to review and manage content random people use to get off to. But she certainly tries. In a September 2023 interview with Fox News, DeMatteo opened up about why she began posting on OF. I figured, okay, so everybody's in their underwear and being sexy on Instagram, and I don't do that, but I can do that and get paid for it, Demetteo said at the time. I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. What a novel idea. The actress said she was forced to switch careers and figure new things out because my own industry thinks I'm a savage, referring to her stance against COVID-19 vaccine mandates. Demetteo's agent reportedly dropped her over the controversy, and she claimed her family nearly lost their home because she wasn't w booking work. Dude, I repeat, you are abusing your kids. See how she tries to flip it to make everything look like a cry for help? Good God. But it just highlights the whole hive mind epidemic that I've talked about in recent videos. Monkey see, monkey do. The key issue with these women being allowed to march in lockstep is they have no idea what they are aiming to achieve. It's just a constant wave after wave of complaints, followed by the kind of tantrums and behaviors you'd see from a toddler bruising their knee on the playground. Most of them can't even do basic math. I could never live with somebody who like sleeps, sleeps until still. noon on yeah. a Saturday. I could never sleep with somebody who, girl, stop it, cut it out. Who's watching these podcasts? At this point, people are buying the cheapest mics they could possibly find on Amazon, plop themselves on a the couch, and press record on a camera. I see all these copy paste podcasts all the time. It's very naggy, it's very complainy, like cut it out, respectfully, of course. <laughs> no. I needed a laugh, and the point is valid. The newest stage in podcasting is the celebrity podcasters who never said a smart thing in their lives without the help of a script. Some seriously dumb people will tune in to hear what an actor has to say after playing a sophisticated scientist or mathematician because they're unable to separate the two. They'll talk about politics, religion, and sexual liberation, without even the slightest bit of knowledge to back up their arguments. And every point ends in an upward inflection, like they can't even understand what they just tried to teach to the cave dweller sitting across from them. Anyways, the article ends with, DeMatteo also shared that her children encouraged her to join the online content platform. Liar. My kids were the ones that were like, do it, Alabama will, edit the pictures too, because they want certain things that we haven't been able to do, DeMatteo said. I used to have a lot of money, and then all of a sudden, I went from being allowed to work to never being allowed to work again. That's because you suck. <laughs> I was never the kind of actor that took jobs just to stay in the business. I literally took jobs to feed my family. Drea, you're a liar. I could add a few more quotes from you that would prove the point, but I think the first one did the trick. Honestly, even if you scrubbed the story of all these mistakes she made, the logic she's using is the worst tactic, especially as a mother. Lady, your kids don't know what the hell is going on. Their brains aren't even fully developed, and you're expecting them to be able to help you navigate a career that's so dark most people in third world countries don't support it. But of course, this is the last phase of the thought apocalypse. Everything I'm saying, you all already understand deeply. Case and point. Oh yeah, I also need somebody to pay for my dental insurance because I need some braces. And I need to go get a teeth whitening, so. If y'all want to buy some feet pictures, I'm selling feet pictures. If you want to buy some feet pictures, you can DM me on. I'm trying to get my car note paid. So if you want to buy some feet pictures, you can DM me on.
Guess that OnlyFans done dried up. It's just money. It's made up. Pieces of paper with pictures on it so we don't have to kill each other just to get something to eat. 92, 97, 2000, and whatever we want to call this. It's all just the same thing over and over. We can't help ourselves. We just react. We make a lot of money if we get it right. And we get left by the side of the road if we get it wrong. And there have always been and there always will be the same percentage of winners and losers, happy fucks and sad sacks, fat cats and starving dogs in this world. Yeah. There may be more of us today than there's ever been, but the percentages, they stay exactly the same. Guys, here's the point worth recognizing. Obviously, money is a good thing. It puts clothes on our backs and feeds our families. When used wisely, it can be used to help us get into a competitive space and succeed. However, when money becomes your god, universe, or whatever you choose, as an individual, to hold above yourself, it's nothing more than a cancer. This is what feminists and phonies like Drea De Matteo fail to understand. Financial security and the surplus that can come with it helps you buy your kids some nice things, but the way you get that money is what leaves a lasting impact. In the short term, toddlers and teens might obviously run with the bag and be thankful, but this kind of behavior will catch up with you. Eventually, this money and the fleeting luxury it provides without proper parenting will leave children to grow up behaving more like aimless addicts rather than functioning members of society. This is why, more than ever, men need to step away and let the building collapse on its own. The foundation is rotten and busted to the point that repairing it is a fool's errand. Just let Drea and the rest of them have what little is left over and make sure to choose a path that leaves a legacy, rather than a lifetime of disappointment and well-deserved shame. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you'll get 5 bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video. Till next time.